Hey family, Josh Lozada here. Listen, 2020 is here. It's a new decade. Uh, it's a new opportunity for you to start new things, finish up some old things, and really kind of just shift your mindset a little bit. And so this year, I've decided that I wanted to start a vlog. So welcome to my first vlog. <laughs> Listen, um, I, I've, I'm a musician, I'm a bass player, I'm, I play electric bass, um, I've been doing it professionally for the past nine years, and prior to that, I worked in corporate America, who knew, right? Um, and there are some valuable lessons that I learned, that I picked up while working in corporate America that I utilize and use actively today as a professional musician. And so I wanted to share uh, through the series of vlogs, I wanna share some of the practical tools that I use to get to, to where I'm at right now, to what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it really at the end of the day, right? Um, so I wanted, to, I wanted to start off with a, a, a term that kind of uh, shifted my mindset, if you will. And that term is leaders are readers. And so as a, as a musician, as an instrumentalist, um, as a person, as a husband, as a dad, I want to be a leader. I want people to follow me. I want my family to follow me, to appreciate the, 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 the things that I bring to the table, the decisions that I make, how I, how I make those decisions, how I process information um, and, and, and utilize that information and apply it, right? So as a musician, as a general person in general, um, I want I want to be a leader. I want to be a leader on my bandstand. I may not necessarily be the music director, but I want people to understand that hey, this guy knows what he's doing. And you know what? There's something that he's sharing. There's something that he's saying that I kind of like. And you know what? If people respect me as a leader, they're more willing to accept some of the things that I have to share that you may have to share, and, and the way you're sharing it. So um, I wanted to talk about that. Leaders are readers. So as an instrumentalist, as a bass player specifically, there have been tools, there are, are books that have been published that are bass specific. And um, so one of those are The Evolving Bassist by Rufus Reed. This book right here is a, a, a staple amongst the, the double bass uh, and electric bass community. This book right here, there's a couple of different uh, editions of this book now from, from what I understand. Uh, I purchased this book a, a number of years ago and just, you know, some great material. Um, technical approaches. There's some uh, phenomenal exercises inside of the book that uh, you can utilize to, you know, to apply to your bass playing, right? Um, so again, if if you want to be whatever it is that you want to be, you have to you have to surround yourself with that material. You have to understand what it is that uh, other people have used, what it is that other people are using to become that, to be that, whatever the field is. Right. So again, there's a uh, there's another uh, book called Bass Hannon. Now that Hannon was a piano method book, piano technique, and so from what I understand, there's a lot of bass players that from from years past used to use the piano book and use those that just transpose it, use those exercises inside of the Hannon, the piano Hannon to uh, to apply to their to their instrument, guitar, bass, whatever you were playing. But now, so Hal Leonard has pub has published the Bass Hannon, and inside again inside of this book are some great. Um, exercises that you apply again to build technique to build understanding of your instrument I mean there's so look this one right here Jaco Pistorius uh, one of the greatest argu argu arguably the best bass player in the world this man changed electric bass specifically fretless electric bass um, if you don't know Jaco Pistorius just just whatever it is get it Whatever, whatever, if it's a book, if it's a, uh, 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 a DVD, MP3, whatever it is, just grab it. Jaco Pastorius changed the electric bass. And so again, I wanted to, I wanted to read this stuff. I wanted to understand uh, how one of the bass players that I admire so much, what, how he approaches the instrument, what he thinks about um, music in general and what the music that he was creating and how he approached it and what he was doing about it. Um, and then I wanted to see people that he was influenced by. And then when you when you do that, you kind of go down a rabbit trail, and, and you you start to see, and you you get introduced to other uh, musicians, other um, instrumentalists that 
they were influenced by and you start to research them and you kind of go deeper and deeper and deeper you get lost by all those who influence those people who influence you and who influence them who influence them and and, and down down the line it's really crazy um another great book the the real book uh this is a standard crazy enough i was, I was well not crazy enough but thankfully thankfully enough they started making it in bass clef so now um all the melodies are are in bass clef so uh for you bass players you can get this book and you can play the melodies and it's written in in, in bass clef where you can see most of most of the stuff back in the day before it was transcribed in in uh, in bass clef was was treble clef the melodies were in treble clef but the the uh, the chord changes were obviously they're universal so e flat is e flat guys um so uh, you had that, so you can play the chord changes, you can play along musically with it, but now you can actually play the melodies and learn the melodies uh, with the, uh, the real book. And I encourage you, if you don't know melodies to songs, learn them, play them. Even if you are a bass player and you, you're playing a supporting role, it's still great to, to, know, um, to know the melodies and be able to play them, all right? So, okay, that's great. Uh, and and, and uh, they're, they're gonna be links below in the description um, to, to be able to get those books and where, where to grab those books at but in addition to just the music related stuff and the notation stuff and the stuff and the practice tools I mean leaders are readers right again leaders are readers just kind of just kind of keep saying that to yourself and so even if you're not a reader even if you don't um, necessarily enjoy the practice of, of, of reading those anything um, it, it, you're gonna find it to be a very useful tool uh, whether it be a magazine of, of you know, if you're a bass player, you, you want to get bass player magazine or, or bass musician or um, jazz times, and, you know, anything that, that's music related that you're obviously uh, imp you're passionate about. You can pick up certain things and, and read those things. Um, there's, that's great. Uh, so start there if, if you're not much of a reader. But I encourage you um, to read. It's going to do so much for you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to widen your understanding of not just people and how they get there, uh, but different approaches. On, on how to navigate certain conflicts you may find in life, how to navigate through uh, certain situations, um, how to think of certain things, how to apply certain things, uh, uh, ways of thinking, um, decision processes, all those kinds of things are great. Um, so a book that kind of blew my mind, right? It, it, it's a music related book, but it's not a notation book. It is a, uh, I don't know, not, maybe a biography if you will, all right? But this man right here, Ricky Minor. Uh, bass community, you gotta know this dude. He is uh, one of the the best bass players uh, in the world. He's been he's been in the game for quite some time. Um, he made fame uh, through being a Whitney Houston's music director for many many years. Uh, he was a music director for American Idol, which was a great uh, at the beginning at the inception. American Idol was was definitely awesome. Um, he was a music director uh, with American Idol when, when they began. Uh, he's been on many, many records. He's toured with many, many acts. Highly respected. He's a go-to guy uh, in Hollywood for award shows and uh, and movies. Uh, he's kind of a, a go-to guy when you're looking for musicians. He's his his Rolodex is full. So when you need somebody, you need a, a piano player, a bass player, uh, uh, a violin player, brass, anything you need. He's the kind of guy you he's the guy you call to get in touch with the right person for the for the job. And so. I read this book and what captivated me about it was the, the title, There's No Traffic on the Extra Mile. And I wanted to talk about that specifically. Um, the music community, the music industry, the music business is very congested. There's loads of talented people that are kind of streaming through the, through the same thing. They're funneling through and they all kind of want, want to make it big. They want to get that next big hit. They want to be on the next big tour. They want to play stadiums. Uh, they want to travel the world. I mean, the, the, the world is full, full. Not just, not just American, not just in the English speaking market. I'm talking about globally. The world is full of musicians that kind of want to make it through this one tight funnel. And there's traffic in there because it's so congested. All right. So the title of this book, There's No Traffic on the Extra Mile, it really captivated me because that's the absolute truth. Most people, as hard as they do work, they work to the point of what they finally get to what they think they wanted. Um, you ask someone to do something, they did that thing, they check mark, it's over with, they're moving on. But when you want more, when you wanna achieve more, when you wanna see more, uh, when you wanna experience more, you go the extra mile. 
you go a little bit further than that which is what is being asked of you and so that book right there there's no traffic on the extra mile is exactly that there are very few people that are going the extra mile to do what they want to do to achieve what they want to achieve so uh ricky miner's book uh it, it, it's it's a, it's a practical read it's an easy read it just it, it tells you about his life in general his life experiences uh some great stories of how he was on the road and what he did to learn certain things and uh how he how he learned certain things and his approach to uh, to being uh just a world-class musician and so again leaders are readers read these things apply them there's some great great tools inside of this uh inside of this book and so what I want to start doing as, as these vlogs continue I want to I want I want to add a book I, I think I want to make like a, a book of the month type of thing where you know if I read something or I've read something that has impacted me I want to share it with you and see if that helps you um, to, to attain more to achieve or, or strive for more in your approach to that right um, so one last book that I'll share with you this is the most published book the most purchased book in all of the world it is the Bible this one's a uh, the MacArthur study Bible um, I purchased this many years ago um, I am a Christian I love God I have a relationship with Jesus and the the, the, the book that uh, Christians base their 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 relationship on is the Bible and so inside of the Bible you find so many truths you find so many promises so many uplifting again stories if you want to approach it in a storytelling context there are so many things in there that you can use uh, to read to read on to apply to speak about right um, to get different views on and so uh, I, you know I actively read the Bible um, to keep myself just kind of fresh kind of encouraged there's a motivation behind that um, and it, it, you know what at the end it kind of it, it really just help me helps me to be a, a better person and so you know that's that's one of the big things that um, that I wanted to share as well with this whole thing is um, just kind of being a, a, a better person or a more rounded well-rounded person not just a musician not just an instrumentalist but a human being all right so inside of what you're doing as a musician whatever it is you're doing however you're doing it in whatever capacity um, in, in whatever size stage you may be doing it on you're doing it to the best of your ability you don't want to be just mediocre you want to be the best and that's gonna that's gonna uh, take you going the extra mile to do what you're doing so guys keep striving for great things there's so much more to come I appreciate you guys if you like this stuff please give me a thumbs up below and make sure you subscribe down below and if you want to be notified whenever I post up new content make sure you click on that little bell and you'll get emailed as soon as I upload new content onto this channel. Thanks for following me on this first vlog of so many more to come. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Later.